Like you, I drive past the median on Whitney Way or Gammon Road or even Raymond Road and Verona Road, and I see panhandlers with signs saying, need food and money. So last week I stopped and talked to four different panhandlers and did a column on three of them. And they all had stories to tell and put a human face on the need. One man called himself a mountain man. He was Yogi because he sleeping under the trees like Yogi Bear. He said he hurt himself two years ago. He can't be a carpenter anymore. Can't stand for more than two hours. I said, what about working inside? He goes, what is a mountain man like me going to do sitting by the desk? He said, it's hard work out there in the median. Traffic is dangerous. Drivers are careless. He goes, he likes to see something in the public. You do my job for one day and see how easy it is. But he thanked the police for being polite in medicine, not bothering him and his colleagues, as long as they don't step out of line. A man named Frank from New York said he was arrested for possession of marijuana back at age 19 in New York State at the old Rockefeller laws. It didn't matter how much marijuana he had, it was still a felony. So he puts on his resume now or his application for a job, I'm a felon, which he says causes employers to lose interest. He said he cut down trees for 20 years, gets a tree job occasionally, but he's out on the median also. Sleeps at Grace Episcopal with his three kids and wife, he says, who's dying of cancer. A woman named Jayla, who was at Raymond and Verona Road. I saw her at 1.30 that afternoon. She'd been out there since 9, said she had $1. I said, that's tough. She goes, that's heartbreaking. Best day she ever did, she said, was $100. No car, no phone. Her father died recently. No family. Two female friends let her use their shower, or she'll take the bus to the east side of Salvation Army to shower. So she had a job at McDonald's as an assistant manager. Can't get it back as she took care of her dying father. Now she doesn't want to get a job as an associate. The money isn't good enough to solve her problem. No, what we need is instead of the current bureaucracy of our welfare system, our public assistance system, we need a minimum income allowance for everybody. That way they have some dignity, put some cream in the coffee, then they have to go out and get a job, something that they like. If you make a lot of money, you have that stipend taken away bit by bit but you supplement that with something that keeps them off the street. It wouldn't be any more money than the current system. It would bring dignity to people's lives and it would help the economy. They would go out and produce in areas that they want to work in. A minimum income allowance. It's high time. Milton Friedman said do it. Norway does it. So can we. My two cents, my two minutes, are brought to you by Edge Construction and Capital Consultants. Bill McCosh and a lobbyist to work for Tommy who gets things done downtown. We can talk about this and more on the radio tomorrow at 8 on 92.1 FM, The Mike, The Mitch Hank Show. Talk to you then.